Hey, man, it is the season. You hear me? Drop one of the clues bombs for Taylor's mom. Taylor is a producer here <laughs> at uh, Breakfast Club. She does all the imaging and stuff like that. Yep. And I love this time of year because her mother is always making sure I get some of her tasty, wow. sweet, wow. incredible Whoa. pie. You know mm. what, Charlotte? What kind I of pie? I love Taylor's mama pie. Come on now, sweet potato. I'm black. Don't play with me. Okay. All right. Thank you, Taylor's mom. Uh, she sent the pie up here for me. Taylor is withholding it. I want you to know that, Miss Hayes. Taylor is withholding it from me right now. Okay? But Why thank you smiling you. so much? Man. I can't <laughs> wait to taste her mama's pie again this year. I can't wait. I don't think Taylor's very happy with that. Nah, not at all. <laughs> well, we are The Breakfast Club. Welcome back. Charlemagne is back. Chris Kalen is our guest co-host. Let's jump right to the rumors. This, 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 this is The Rumor Report. I am here. All the way from the 843. Straight from Charleston. You know, already know. Baby. You got Chris Kalen. Y'all boy already know. <laughs> On The Breakfast Club. Of course, you have the internet, but we have to debunk some rumors. Talk about it. Ooh, shout out to Taylor. I Come love on, that then. intro. Taylor, Taylor makes great intros and her mama makes great pies. Okay, I'm not wow. engaging in the pies with you, but what <laughs> we're going to talk about is Diddy stepping down as the chairman of Revolt amid sexual assault allegations. So, mm-hmm. in a statement shared on social media, Revolt TV announced that Diddy has stepped down from his position as chairman, and we have the audio of that. Diddy is one of his companies and his empire, and that is... One of his biggest, actually. Yeah, uh, Revolt TV... Um, we found out this morning that uh, Diddy is stepping down temporarily. As chairman. I, I think it is important to note that they say temporarily. Guys, I think this is a very big deal. I do not think this is just. It doesn't sound to me like somebody who's just doing something to temporarily get out of the way while they resolve a couple cases. The fact he's stepping down to me means that these lawsuits are not going to go away immediately. He doesn't mm. think. And maybe, you know, he's concerned that other people might come out of the woodwork. He has said this is purely a money grab. You take him at his word that he thinks that. But if it was just purely a money grab, you think it's something that a man of his means could get rid of pretty quickly. Yeah. And yeah, and so with that, you know, 50 Cent, the troll of all trolls, he mm-hmm. posted to his Instagram. He said, I can't believe my brother. Brother Love won't sell me revolt. It angers me. He's going to sell it to the white man. LOL. And also with that, Diddy's partnership with the Charter Prep School has also ended. So his partnership with Capital Preparatory School has been terminated. So, yes, yeah, a lot of things happening in the Diddy camp. I mean, I doubt he had a choice in any of those matters because, I mean, both of those situations are bigger than him, Revolt yeah. and, and and the charter school. When it comes to Revolt, I'm sure advertisers were circling the wagon, and when you're in the position that he's in and so many things revolve around you and so many people are employed, it's probably best to step away mm-hmm. so that business can keep going. And same thing with the charter school. You don't mm-hmm. want to be a distraction. But he still owns Revolt, though, right? He still owns it. He's just not, I would, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, not yeah. running day to day. Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so moving on, are you all aware of Young Thug's case that has started the trial? Yeah. All right, so first of all, his lawyer needs a raise. If he is listening right now, give that man a raise. All right, during the during the opening statement of day two in Young Thug's YSL Rico trial, his lawyer, Brian Steele, he did his real big one, y'all. In his opening statement, he informed the jury of Young Thug's rough life growing up and why he doesn't trust the legal system and how all of that influenced his rap career and the lyrics that he wrote. So at one point, he explains how Young Thug got his name. Thug meant and means to Jeffrey something very personal. It was his pact that he could ever make it as a musical artist and help his family, himself, and as many others out of this endless cycle of hopelessness. He would be truly humble under God. That's what thug means. Truly, All right. truly humble, humble under God. That's okay. what Doug means. I feel like I've heard that before, though. I've heard him. I've heard him say that before. Hey, that ain't the first time I heard mm-hmm. that said. I mean, I know the lawyer said it in the court, but I feel like I've heard Doug say that before. But mm-hmm. well, we gonna go with it. I, it sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. And he also explained the term pushing P. So we know pushing P from the song with him and I'm gonna. Yep. And this is what he had to say about pushing P. It's on Jeffrey's Instagram account, and the prosecution is targeting. That's Jeffrey taking a selfie in the mirror. And he has his hand up, and the indictment that the prosecution had the grand jury return says he's holding up a blood sign, and that furthers his conspiracy. That's not a blood sign. That is a P. Jeffrey's fingers are down. And what you'll learn is that Jeffrey just released with Sergio Kitchens, performed known as Gunna, a song that is wildly popular. It's called Pushing P. 
And it's positivity. It means any circumstance you're in, if you think positively about something, you can make it through. I rock with I've him. heard that too. I, I, I rock with, with him. Yeah. I've heard that too. Pushing P means positivity. It means keeping it player. It means keeping it real. That's what I. That's what I was always told. His lawyer's doing his job, okay, and I am here for it. Mm-hmm. And also with that, while we're talking about trials, uh, today Jonathan Major's trial starts for a, the alleged domestic violence against his ex girlfriend. And yeah, so that begins today in New York City. And do we have time for one more? Sure. Absolutely. All right. So y'all know Tina Knowles does not play about Beyonce when it comes down to Beyonce. She is always the mother bear. And she had to drag a couple of people on Instagram yesterday because, you know, her movie debuted Renaissance um, and they had the silver carpet for it. And in it, you know, she looked lighter. So everyone was speculating and saying just insane things as far as she's trying to look like Kim Kardashian and she wants to be white. And Mama Tina was not having literally Mama Tina wasn't having it. Mm -hmm. She said came across this today and decided to posted after seeing all the stupid, ignorant, self-hating, racist comments about her lightening her skin and wearing platinum hair to be white. She does a film, Call It Renaissance, where the whole theme is silver with silver hair, silver carpet, and suggested silver attire. And you bozos decide that she's trying to be a white woman and is bleaching her skin? How sad is that that some of her own people continue the stupid narrative with hate and jealousy? Every time she does something that works her ass off for, is she's is a statement of her work ethic, talent, and resilience. Here you sad little haters come out of the woodwork. Jealousy and racism, sexism, double standards, you perpetuate these things instead of celebrating a sister, just ignoring her if you don't like her. I am sick of you losers. I know that she is going to be pissed at me for doing this, but I am fed up. This girl minds her own business. She helps people whenever she can. She lifts up and promotes black women and the underdogs all the time. And that's on Crip. And that's on Pete. And she (laughs) said a whole lot more. <laughs> but that's on period. Everything she said is true. It, absolutely true. Everything she said is absolutely and positively y'all true. And not just be talking about people, kids, like they don't got moms and all of this. Y'all that's right. tripping. She's going to forever be the mother bear. Now, I'm a Pinkett Smith Winfrey Nose Carter, so I'm going to always be biased. But as much as y'all take pictures and complain about lighting, y'all don't understand how somebody can look light in a picture? Literally. You and be that's... on the street taking mm-hmm. pictures complaining about the lighting. You don't think that the lighting had anything to do with the way Beyonce was looking? And as a just black wanna, woman they just want to complain. Literally, and as a black woman that wears blonde hair, when you lighten your hair, you're going to look lighter, mm-hmm. plus the lighting off the red carpet. And Beyonce is already, like, yellow. Mm-hmm. So... I don't know. People just want stuff to talk about. And when I think silver hair, I have that problem all I the think time. grandmas and Storm. <laughs> mm-hmm. When I think silver hair, I think OG women yep. and Storm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing I like more than looking at an older woman who's let her hair go- grow gray. When you got that gray hair with that dark skin, incredible. Eats. And Come also, on, man. the Renaissance, the movie that I'm so excited to see this weekend, is projected to make $30 million. So on top of everything she made from the tour, she's expected to bring in $30 million the, no, for we the need movie. Her, we need it to be more. More? We, we need her to we're be not, more. We're not catching Taylor no, Swift. No, but we need to because we, we know for all of these people that like <laughs> to have, have to these Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift. We, you got to be Taylor Swift. I don't understand why people compare Swift. Taylor Swift and Beyonce. As a Beehive member, I don't see the comparison and I just want people to stop. I don't know, but it's there. So I need y'all to get in the formation. <laughs> get formation. And y'all get need to, with your silver on. Yes, with your silver on and y'all need to go in packs to see this movie this weekend because you got to be Taylor Taylor's opening weekend sales. If we don't, you can put in another bullet in the argument for Taylor Swift being bigger than Beyonce. Literally. Are you going? Huh? See, see, you got to You just go. said your nose and you're not going. I still got to go see the Marvels. I ain't catch up yet. <laughs> no, I got to go see the Marvels. That is going to trust the Marvels. Get to it, but I, I ain't seen the Marvels yet. Once I go see the Marvels, uh, then I'll go see Beyonce. Your last name's not Marvels. Your last name is Nose. So you should go see Nose first. That is true. I was trying to do a movie showing, but the theater told me I had to wait two weeks later. After right. it came, I don't know. Is it sold out? Might be sold out. For two? Well, that may be the Might be sold out for two weeks. See, Taylor Swift fans running the movie theater. All right. I want you to do your right. And that is your rumor report. When we come back, we got front page news with Tesla. Figaro, so don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.